Hi, I'm Brittany Allen, and welcome to Savor the Flavors. Do you remember peas and carrots? Do you remember TV dinners? When I was a kid, it was such a big deal to have a TV dinner. Put it on a TV tray and have dinner right in front of the television. One of the most popular vegetable combinations in those dinners was oftentimes peas and carrots. Today we'll put a fresh twist on a classic vegetable combination. I hope you enjoy my sugar snap peas and carrots alfredo. I've already got our peas and carrots started. I've got one cup of carrots that I've sliced in some water on the stove. I'm bringing those to a boil. What I did is I just peeled two large carrots, is about one cup, and then cut them on the bias or the diagonal. I think they look pretty. Now, also to start our Alfredo sauce, I've got one teaspoon of olive oil heating in our skillet. To that, I'm going to add one clove of garlic that's been slightly smashed, and we're just gonna saute that until the garlic gets nice and golden brown. Okay, you can see the garlic has gotten nice and golden brown and we're just going to discard that because it has infused the oil with that garlic flavor, which will be just perfect for this dish. My carrots came to a boil. I reduced the heat. They've been simmering for about four minutes. Now I'm going to add my sugar snap peas. Sugar snap peas, you find those in your grocery store. They're usually right next to the snow peas, so don't confuse them. The sugar snap peas are a little more plump, a little fatter. And I like to cut these in half lengthwise for presentation. It sort of exposes the peas. We'll just add those to the water. And we're gonna let those simmer for about a minute and a half. While that's going on, we're going to continue with our sauce. I'm going to add a half cup of heavy cream to our saucepan here, or rather a skillet. It's a little hot, I'm gonna just remove that. And now I'm just gonna add some freshly grated nutmeg. I love whole nutmeg in this. And you just take it and grate it in there. If you don't have whole nutmeg, of course, you can just use a pinch of brown nutmeg. Now, we're gonna kinda of put that back on the heat. I'm going to add to that a quarter cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And we just want that cheese to get all melted in there. And we're also going to season it to taste with a little bit of sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And then we're just gonna remove this from the heat because the sauce will start to thicken. Okay, now I think our veggies are just about right. We're gonna turn off the heat, we're gonna drain them. Make sure and get all of the water off of them. Then I'll return them to the stove just a little bit to make sure all of that water evaporates. Then we'll put our sauce back on the heat. As you can see, it started to thicken. That's exactly what we want. It's been well seasoned. And then we're just going to add our veggies to the sauce mixture. And then we're just going to stir this until all of the vegetables are evenly coated with the Alfredo sauce. And there you have a fresh twist on a classic vegetable combination. I hope you savor the flavors of my sugar snap peas and carrots Alfredo.